guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim and this is Expedition Through Pages. Today I would like to share with you five popular science books that are coming out soon that have caught my eye and I would absolutely love to read. So you can't see because of where I put the camera but I did decide to wear my women in physics top for this video. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Uh, that's not a good angle. Anyway. There's equations and a woman's face on my t-shirt that you can't see. These books are going to be in no particular order, they're just going to be in the order that I found them. Um, so yeah, let's go. The first book I found is a book that doesn't come out until July 26th. All these dates, by the way, are like based on British dates as to when they're coming out, so it could vary depending on which country you're in. But Proving Ground by Kathy Kleiman should be coming out on July 26th, 2022. Proving Ground tells the story of the six women that actually helped program ENIAC alongside um, men that also created it, but they are never credited, as is usual with these kinds of things. The women are kind of left in the background. ENIAC was the world's first general computer that was used during World War II in order to calculate the trajectory of um, missiles that were being sent, so it's not the happiest reason why a computer was made, but that was why it was made. But yeah, back when Kathy Kleinman was at university, she took a couple of computer programming courses and she was kind of on the lookout for women that she could look up to and women she could be inspired by. And she came across an image of ENIAC, the computer, with women in the picture that looked like they were actually working on it. And so she did a bit of digging around and couldn't find any information on them or anything. So she was sent to talk to this particular person about it, who I can't remember who she was now, but that woman told her that the women in the pictures were just models and they were there just to make the computer look good. But Kathy wanted to kind of do a bit more digging about the computer and she actually ended up going to the 40th anniversary of ENIAC. And when she was there, she overheard a conversation from a group of women talking about things that happened when the computer was first being used and everything. And she realized that they were actually the women in these pictures that she found. And so she got to talking with them and it turns out, yeah, they were working on these computers. They weren't just the wives of engineers that were there, they were actually working on them as well. So yeah, Kathy ended up interviewing these women about the work that they did during this time and at first made it into a documentary and now it's a book. And I just think I would really like to read it and find out more about these women that are often hidden away. I actually watched a TEDx talk given by Kathy Kleinman, which I'll link down below if you're interested in just hearing a bit more about the story and if you'd be interested in picking up the book. But yeah, that was the first book that I was super interested in getting to. The second book comes out in May and it's written by George Monbois, I think maybe you pronounce the name, um, and it's called Regenesis, Feeding the World Without Devouring the Planet. And this is literally all about, yeah, how we can feed ourselves without continuing to damage the planet because farming is one of the worst things environmentally wise and yeah so hopefully it comes up with some good solutions about what we can do and I'm always open to learning more about food and more about what's going to benefit us in the future because I'm such a city girl so actually like it's I don't know much about farming at all like it's packaged up it's put in the supermarket and then I buy it <laughs> and I've given more thought over the years as to what's actually going on and where the food actually comes from but I don't really know very much so I would be interested in reading this book. George Monbois is a British writer and the only kind of book that I've read about food and farming practices was Eating Animals by Jonathan Safran Foer which described techniques that were going on in America so I'm hoping that this has a bit more about either worldwide or the UK, that's kind of what I'm looking for, just because I live in the UK, so it's more useful for me to know what's happening here um, than anywhere else, so, but I don't actually know. I think it sounds worldwide, feeding the world. <laughs> okay, book number three is called Journey of the Mind, How Thinking Emerged from Chaos, and I just think this book sounds super interesting. This is actually out now, it came out I think on the 8th of March, at least in the UK, and it's written by Oggy Ogas and Sai Adam as well. And yeah, I'll just read you um, some of the synopsis of this book. So it says, why do minds exist? How did mud and stone develop into beings that can experience longing, regret, love and compassion? Beings that are aware of their own experience. Until recently, science offered few answers to these existential questions. Journey of the Mind is the first book to offer a unified account of the mind that explains how consciousness, language, the self and civilization emerged incrementally out of chaos. The journey begins three billion years ago with the emergence of the simplest possible mind, a nanoscopic archaeon, then ascends through amoebas, is that how you pronounce it? Worms, frogs, birds, monkeys and AI, examining successively smarter ways of thinking. 
The authors explain mathematical principles generating conscious experience and show through vivid illustrations and accessible prose how these principles led to cities and democratic nations to develop new forms of consciousness, the self-aware superminds. Yeah, so then it says at the end of the book, it kind of looks into contemplating like the next higher stage of consciousness. Um, that's, it says it's already kind of coming out, which just sounds really intriguing. So yeah, and I just think anything about the mind is so fascinating. Right before I decided to go back to university and do a degree in science, I originally did it because I wanted to look into the consciousness and what it actually was. So I guess more of a, in a psychological way as well, and just kind of thinking about the brain and what we know about the brain and all that kind of stuff. I was really interested in that. And then somewhere along the line of doing my degree, I went down the route of fusion energy instead. Not really sure how that happened, but it happened. But yeah, I'm still really, really intrigued about the mind and everything and would love to read this book because I think it sounds absolutely fascinating. <laughs> okay, and then the last two books, I've kind of been inspired to read about these subjects just because recently I've watched a lot of Vampire Diaries. Now, the supernatural stuff has never been up my street. I've never really cared about supernatural things, um, but recently, I don't know, I've been in the mood for it. I've enjoyed watching things about witches and vampires and demons and just thinking about supernatural stuff. So yeah, these two books, when I saw that they were coming out this year, I just thought oh, I'd be really interested to read about this stuff. And the first one is called The Premonitions Bureau and it's written by Sam Knight. So Sam Knight, it says he's a staff writer for The New Yorker, but he's based in London. I'm not sure what a staff writer means, but you might know. <laughs> and this book also comes out in May, in the UK it comes out on the 3rd of May. So The Premonitions Bureau is an experiment that was set up in, in the 1960s in Britain and it was basically an experiment that collected the premonitions of lots of different people, I think worldwide, but I'm not 100% sure if it was just British people. And anyway, all these premonitions were collected and then it was looked at scientifically to see if they could then be used to prevent any disasters that were going to happen in the future, which is really interesting, like, as a concept. Because I think we all have those little moments where we think we've been a bit psychic, like, you picked up the phone just as somebody's rung that you were about to ring, or, you know, like me, I once did a scratch card where I was so sure that I would win, and I really, really focused, and I ended up winning, like, £50 off it, and I, but I was like, really focus my energy on where I had to match the three things that I was scratching off. Anyway, and I always thought for years, oh, I'm psychic, because I got in the zone, I got in the zone. Anyway, so we all have these little moments that just aren't really explained, I guess, and are probably just coincidences, but they feel like they're not. So this experiment was set up by a doctor called Dr. JC Barker, and out of all the participants that kind of got involved, there were two participants that seemed to be pretty on the nose with their predictions that they were making and their premonitions that they were having. And if you're interested, I did watch an interview with the author Sam Knight um, in a YouTube video, which I'll link down in the description if you want to go and check it out. And yeah, it's just fascinating watching him talk about it. And I would, yeah, just really love to read this book when it comes out. So that's book number four. And then the last book also comes out in May. It comes out on the 26th of May. And it's called Jellyfish Age Backwards, Nature's Secrets to Longevity by Nicholas Brendborg. And this has been translated by Elizabeth Denoma. So I believe Nicholas Brendborg is a PhD student of molecular biology at the University of Copenhagen. And yeah, this book is all about looking at plants and animals that have already cracked immortality, basically. And he just takes you through like what we know from these plants and animals and what we can learn about it going forward if we are ever to kind of hope to live an immortal life, which sounds insane. I'm so intrigued about the kind of scientific journey into looking how to extend humans lives because so many people I've talked to where they have such different opinions on this some people would love 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 to live forever if they could and some people just would not and I just like no nah, I'm out of here I live my life and I'm done thank you very much so yeah it's really interesting I don't really know where I fall on that line I feel like living forever and ever and ever just sounds insane to me so yeah but I would like to live longer than we've got on earth at the moment personally I would like to extend life if I could a little bit longer yeah that's just something I love thinking about and I think I'm gonna really like that book so yeah those are the five popular science books that are coming out fairly soon that I'm super interested in picking up I hope some of them sound interesting to you as well I would love to know if you found any books that are coming out soon that you would love to read 
I'm always looking to add books to my TBR, the never ending TBR that never gets read. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that everybody is doing well and I will see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye.